Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the homemade slingshot rocket. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is cardstock paper, straw, rubber band, craft stick, paper clip, tape, scissors, and a pencil eraser. To put your uh, slingshot rocket together, you're going to take a little bit of tape if your uh, pencil eraser doesn't fit really good on the straw, which mine doesn't. Um, just putting a little tape on the end so it's uh, when it goes on it's nice and snug so the eraser doesn't keep falling off. Um, you don't have to do this, but um, if you put a little bit of tape on and it's nice and tight, uh, that'll be perfect. A uh, eraser helps uh, add a little weight to the rocket so it can launch pretty good. Um, you can use any kind of tape uh, and also any kind of fins. So I'm doing two different kinds of fins here. I'm using the uh, traditional like uh, triangle fins. Um, I'm using blue painter's tape. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but you have to put tape on one side and cut off the excess before you put it on the straw. I'm using four uh, fins. So I'm going to uh, make sure it's even, you know, pretty much even on the, the sides of the rocket with the paper ending at the straw. So it's not an exact science here. It's not rocket science. Anyway, um, but uh, just make sure you get the tape on one side and then you're going to do the same exact thing and put um, tape on the second side um, and kind of angle your fin out um, so uh, uh, that it's sitting straight there and it's not angling down. So you're going to do that three more times. So I'll speed it up and then I'll show you the results. So um, now I'm doing the second fin. Um, gonna like I said, I got to fast forward, um, and I'm doing tape on both sides. It helps if you have the tape uh, pre-measured, which I don't, um, but I'm just kind of going as I go. Um, and you're just gonna kind of guesstimate, get, do a guesstimate on the the side. Um, you want the two facing opposite to each other, kind of even there. And then now I've got three of them done. I'm doing my last fin, uh, putting it on. Um, and if, uh, you know, you're trying to make it look really nice, you probably don't want to uh, be as sloppy as I am on the tape. But uh, just as long as it's on good and it's going to fly. So that's one design right there, which I still have to add uh, the part that launches it. So I'm taking a paper clip and folding it out. Uh, basically going to fold it back. Uh, I just want that small piece um, uh, sticking out a little bit. And then we're going to tape it around the top part of the straw right below the pencil eraser, as you'll see shortly. So um, go ahead right there, and I'm going to tape it up um, to hold it on. And so that's going to be our launcher. So you get a piece of tape in there. Uh, you might need a couple pieces here. You really want to make sure this is on. Uh, a lot of force is going to be pulling against it. So um, I'm going to do one, one extra piece. Make sure it's nice and tight against the straw. Don't have it loose. Um, so make sure you pull that nice and tight as you go around. You don't want to bend the straw in, but you also want to make sure it's uh, really holding tight. So, um, like I said, I'm using blue painter's tape. is isn't the best tape in the world, but it definitely worked for this experiment. Um, just the tape I had available. And then once I get that done, um, I'm, you need to do one more piece. you got to cover up the top part uh, so it, it doesn't expose like this. Um, otherwise, rubber band is going to keep getting stuck on that one little piece that's open. So, once you get that and it looks like this, uh, then you're set to go. And now we need to tie uh, the rubber band, which is the launcher, um, to launch our slingshot rocket. So I take two rubber bands and I kind of just pull that one across there and uh, make a bow like that. And then I'm going to put it on one of the popsicle sticks or a craft stick. And I'm just going to tape it around a couple times so it stays on secure. And it ends up looking like this and you're ready to go. And so we're going to launch our first rocket right now. So a little test in the backyard just to see if it works before we go in the front yard. Uh, nothing big here, just to see if it, it's function and it works. Give it a shot, and here we go. And it works. All right, we're in the front yard now, aiming straight up in the sky. And you want to hold it down just a little bit below the rubber band there. Pinch the straw, pull back, and let go. And it went about... 35 or 40 feet in the air. I mean, it was pretty impressive uh, how far it went. Here's another one coming down. Now we're going for distance in the front yard here. Gonna give it a good pullback and boom. It's going, it's coming right in front of the truck. Oh, ended up being about 90 feet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up or share and thanks for watching. 